Hello, Assalamu Alaikum. My name is Sajid, and you're watching my YouTube channel. In my this video today, I'm going to talk about uh, JavaScript output. Uh, That's going to be title of my video, and uh, like it's about like in how many ways, in how many different ways, uh, JavaScript can display the data right so there are different ways and we will be looking at four or uh, four here uh, four methods and uh, first one is going to be like uh, using inner HTML uh, 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 using inner, inner HTML uh, then we have writing into HTML output using uh, document that write also we can have alert box with windows.alert or we can write to the com browser console using console.log so these are four uh, you can say methods uh, which can be used to output some data okay let's look at the first one using inner html so inner html to access an html element for example a javascript can be used it can be used and uh, for this one we are using method called document that get element id and id the id attribute defines the html element and the inner html property is actually the property defines the html content so it means with the uh, help of inner html property what we are going to do we will access one uh, HTML element and then uh, display some text or numbers or uh, whatever data we have uh, with the help of that element by using this inner HTML, right? So that's uh, going to be our HTML content for that particular uh, uh, HTML element. Uh, for which we will be like we can say inserting this uh, data into it using inner html property so next is uh, we have this example what we are going to do here let's look at the code uh, we have a code here uh, with the um, uh, this is our html then we have the body and we have a heading my web page you can see my web page here then we have one paragraph my first paragraph and then we have the one this p tag and then we have after that this our script okay our script is there okay so what we're going to do we are going to access this p tag okay this element and uh, its id is demo so when we write document dot get element by id demo dot inner html we are accessing inner html property of this right and whatever we will write here will be actually displayed here between this tag so here we are adding 5 plus 6 if i make it 51 54 plus 6 now okay and let's see i run the code again so answer is 60 right and you now you can see it has become 60 so whatever we will write here it will be coming here if i change it with my name for example what happens now my name comes here so it can be a number or it can be text right a sort of string we can say and which is going this location and it is displayed here so by using document dot get element by id dot inner html we are accessing some uh, html element and changing its html content and we can use this method to display some data so that's one method second so it's very common way changing the inner html property of an html element is a common way to display data in html right so next let's look at it using document dot write this is second method 
using it is convenient to use document dot write what will happen let's look at the code in this code what's happening uh, my first page my first page and in the p we have this content never uh, call document write after document has finished loading it will override the whole document and then we are uh, now the see we are not having anything like um, uh, document dot get element by id or anything we simply write this statement in uh, script document dot write five plus six so this one will add html after this p tag and this is 11 so now if i make it again like maybe 55 plus 6 and run the code again it becomes 61 so whatever this what's happening in this code this uh, command document dot write uh, when we are executing this it gives output as an html as html and which is uh, shown here after this p tag is uh, like uh, finished so uh, this is second way but here we have to be careful uh, that using document dot write after an html document is loaded will delete all existing html so we need to be very careful when using this uh, 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 this method so that's why uh, uh, this method is not like uh, we used uh, uh, frequently so let's look at this example here in this example what we have we have our h2 my first web page then we have p tag and then we are adding one button here type is button on click document dot write element 5 plus 6 try again okay so what happened where did the other text go other information what has happened up to i mean now the whole uh, page had loaded okay now i have refreshed it now the full page has loaded and button is displayed but actually when i am uh, trying to click this button this has an output of 11 but what it does what it's doing is deleting all other html and simply shows 11 here so if you, you do a mistake uh, somewhere in your page in the coding so what will happen when you execute this command this will erase all your html in the program so uh, the document dot write method should only be used for testing right this is highly recommended okay now we look at the third method which is called like using windows dot alert you can use an alert box to display some data so here we have it okay so this one i can show you um, okay right so when i'm running this it is giving me uh, this box right 11 it is showing 11 there okay so this box is an output from uh, this window dot alert okay so I hope you understand this and then also it is possible that you can skip this window keyword you can only use alert as well and that will be working as fine as using window.alert okay now let's look at using console.log okay this is our okay okay this is another method in which what we are doing for the, uh, it is used for uh, debugging purpose you can call console.log method in the browser to display data and uh, of course debugging we will learn later but uh, here we are just showing that how we can write data uh, on the console using console.log method here we have see this code console.log 5 plus 6 so if i go to um, console okay 
console 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 debugging developer tools okay so our console and when I click write it will show the data in the console and if I go there this you can see 11 is there so this is another way to show the content in the console okay um, all right so next let's move forward so we have seen now how we can write the data to the console using console.log method next is uh, method is uh, java javascript print one thing you need to know javascript does not have any print object or print method like if you want to use printer to print some information in javascript there is no such thing you cannot send any information to printer to print something you cannot access output devices from javascript so keep remember this thing it doesn't have any access to output devices the only exception is that you can call window.print method in the browser to print the content of the current window so this one simply prints whatever uh, uh, is there on display in the web browser which actually means is your current web page so let's try this here we have this uh, code where, where we have one button and on click uh, on this we have added uh, when we will click this button it will uh, print this page so now let's click it see here uh, this one it, it has opened this uh, uh, you can say uh, a print window from the browser right so now you can print this page to the printer okay so I hope this have been uh, informative for you I will uh, wrap up my video here and today in this video you have learned uh, a concept uh, different concepts of like how to output data in JavaScript and uh, there are different display possibilities one of them is most commonly used is inner html then we have uh, document write dot write but not recommended window.alert is used in some cases and console.log is used when you ha have to do some debugging and the most common which we will be using here in upcoming videos will be inner html so uh, I will close my video here and uh, please share this video with other your friends and colleagues if you find it useful and uh, uh, if you have any question you can ask in the comment section I will try my best to answer as soon as possible and stay tuned with me to learn JavaScript in upcoming videos and uh, I hope you will enjoy it so this was Sajid from my YouTube channel I'll be back again uh, soon with another video take care bye bye and Allah Hafiz